what are you telling her? What do you want? Oh, we deserve an explanation. The, the city has a lot of explaining to do uh, because of all the issues that Dr. Gork has raised uh, and all the issues that have arisen since the destruction of the Occupy Fredericton tent. Uh, we need an explanation as for why what happened happened and what authority they thought they had to do what they did. And uh, yeah, that's that's why we're sending them the letter. Okay, now it, it's going on. What, what 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 do you actually see happen? Is there meetings uh, uh, going to court, or what do you see uh, in the future? It really depends on the response of the city. Um, for first step is to get an explanation from them for what happened. Uh, second step is uh, making remediations uh, because I mean they they destroyed a lot of our property. Uh, they need to compensate us for that. And if they're not willing to uh, compensate us appropriately, then the matter's going to have to go to court. And, and we wish the matter had gone to court in the first place. We had been asking them directly, we had been asking them through the media, just take the matter to a court of Queen's Bench and we're going to settle this like gentlemen. And again, if the court had decided uh, against us, we would have removed our own shelter. We had no problem with that. The interesting thing is uh, we were pretty sure that we were going to remove our shelter anyway, even if the court said that we had the right to be there because that would that would have gotten our statement across we have the right to be there and that that would have um, it would have been quite a statement for us to dismantle would, again, you, would have gained you a lot of sympathy at that point where sympathy was starting to erode a bit if, if you'd done it that way well cer certainly yeah. so either way if the city had taken the matter to court which we told them to repeatedly this would have been resolved peacefully uh, there would have been no destroyed property, hard feelings, legal issues, the whole thing would have been fine, but they refused to take it to court. Now, do you have a lawyer? I know that uh, the doctor can't, mm. can't, uh, can't help you out there, but have you got a lawyer? Do you have representation should this go? Not yet. Uh, that's one thing that we uh, are looking for. We, uh, you know, we're waiting for a, an enterprising lawyer to step forth and uh, toss his or her name in the ring and uh, and help us out. And, do you uh, think do you think the issues that uh, the doctor has raised might might help things out? Because then all of a sudden, wow, there's my defense. Well, certainly. I mean, the case is laid out very clearly, and it's a very strong case, uh, and, and it, it's pretty clear which way it, it would go. So, uh, I certainly hope that a lawyer will, will step forth and uh, and help see justice served. All right, then, Julie. Thanks a lot. Thank you.